Turn to the prisoner. Authorities can't seem to keep behind bars. He's escaped not once, but twice, and in two different states. The first time, he used a clever plan to simply walk out of jail. Well, it worked so well, he decided to use that same plan to escape a second time. And guess what? He succeeded. This morning, he is still on the run, and ABC's Mark Greenblatt is here with his story. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Dan Biana. This is a story that would seem far-fetched if it were in a movie, but in real life, the same man appears to have escaped from two jails the same way, each time convincing other inmates to stay behind in jail when they were the ones supposed to walk free. This morning, a nationwide hunt is on for the man in gray. U.S. Marshals say he's a dangerous career criminal who keeps escaping from jail. 34-year-old Rocky Delgado Marquez walked out of this one in Phoenix last May after authorities say he switched identity bracelets with this man, 36-year-old Mikel Galavez, another inmate scheduled for release, which is all it took for Marquez to get out. It all left Phoenix authorities stunned. We are investigating our uh, process, the officers involved. It took eight months for the Fugitive Task Force to catch up with Marquez. He fled 2,000 miles away to Detroit, where they found him with a loaded AK-47 like this at his side. But it took him just six days to escape yet again, this time from the Wayne County Jail there, and it's suspected he broke out the very same way. The jails are having a hard time keeping Rocky incarcerated. He's smarter than your average criminal. He's somehow getting inmates to cooperate with him to use their identities to walk out of jail. Marquez pulled off his latest vanishing act just last Sunday, and the ruse went undetected in Detroit for days, with no one catching on to his escape until Friday. The Wayne County Sheriff's Office tells ABC we have policies and procedures in place that should have prevented something like this from happening. But now he's running again, fleeing both local and federal charges, including conspiracy to launder money and intent to distribute cocaine and marijuana. Mr. Marquez does have a, a bit of a head start, but we have the best of the best working on the case, and I'm confident that uh, Rocky will once again be, be put behind bars. Authorities consider Marquez both armed and dangerous. Beyond a Dan, they think he's likely out committing other crimes right now while on the run. Hopefully they'll catch him this time. Mark, thanks.